This provides Congress with the legislative tools that we need to repeal and replace Obamacare. This is a critical first step toward delivering relief to Americans who are struggling under this law. In the weeks ahead, several steps will be taken to provide relief. People were promised, if you like your plan, you can keep it. Well, guess what? That was rated the lie of the year that year. People lost their plans. People were promised all sorts of choices. You have all these great menus of choices to choose from. A third of all the counties in America today you get one choice. Five whole states, one insurer. This experiment has failed. This law is collapsing while we speak. We have to step in before things get worse. This is nothing short of a rescue mission. By taking this step today, we are doing what is right. There is not a better way that has been proposed. Some discussion about across state lines, some other discussion about health savings accounts, which is great if you have the kind of salaries we have. But if you're an average American trying to support your family, uh, getting additional funds to put into a health savings account are not available to you. Mr. Speaker, this budget resolution is an abdication of responsibility and duty. Republicans talk about they're, they're going to repeal and replace. Interesting, alliteratively, but not realistic in terms of what for six years they have had a chance to propose an alternative. We've seen nothing, but what we have seen is they're cut and run. They want to cut benefits and run. They want to cut savings and run. They want to cut access and run. We will not allow the Republicans to make America sick again. I urge a no vote on this unfortunate resolution. On this vote, the ayes are 227, the nays are 198. Majority voting in the affirmative. The concurrent resolution is agreed to.